Once again, we enter the lands of the Dark Return. Our young friends have defeated the Goblin and his spiders, though they were almost the ones vanquished. Now, they must find a safe place to rest before they can continue their search in the Kaelnor Forest. Will they last through the night? Or will other denizens of the woods finish the job the Goblin started? Join us once again to Drinkin Dungeon. the adventure. Yes. First awesome. shots of the night. Awesome. Oh. Got so much further away now. Oh yeah. We magically expanded. Yes. Here's to drinking and dungeoning. Alright. That was bigger than I realized. <laughs> so we are uh, still in the Kaelnor forest, obviously. Um, some of you guys almost permanently lived in the Kaelnor Forest, seeing that you got so low in hit points. But all the spiders are deceased, and so is the goblin. Um, awesome. We have uh, Bergamot is uh, hurt pretty badly, and Xyla is uh, not moving. Uh, correct? Are you still? No, she healed you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I healed her. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is? What do you have for my uh, hit points right now? Um, I'm showing that you at much. three hit points unless Ada healed you. See, I had it taken down, but for some reason I put it back up to my full hit points. Alright, um, so don't judge on me. From now on, we're going totally by what you guys have on your character sheets. I feel like I um, ended up healing both of them. I thought you did heal them both. Yeah. So, so, uh, I have enough spells for that. So I'm going to be completely relying on you guys keeping that up on your character sheets when... When Got you're it. damaged, gotcha. like, uh, so that won't be on roll 20 at all. I'll just know your general hit points, okay. like, what you can take as a hit. But I will have to ask you from now on hit points. And what's on your sheet is the rule of law from now on. Okay. But, um, so, uh, I, I don't quite remember. I guess it was midday that the uh, spider and the goblin attacked, though, in the forest. Uh, it doesn't matter as much because, um, you know, it's... There's not a lot of light that's making its way down through the, the canopy to you. Um, so you guys are, well, no, your hit points are all okay. So what do you guys want to do from here? I wanted to uh, just find out if it was all right if I grabbed a, uh, a spider fang uh, from one of the uh, carcasses because I would like to um, have a little keepsake, a little memento from this battle. So I wanted to pry off a, a spider fang, but then, you know, I don't know if this would work fashion-wise, but I also was thinking it'd look pretty boss if I took two of the large spider's eyes and made like a set of goggles with them, but that might be a little silly. Uh, no. That'll probably no. smell. Right? Yeah, well, and, and, and Xyla took out both of those eyes. Yeah, she <laughs> never... <laughs> That's right. She <laughs> scrambled them. Scrambling brains. Um, <laughs> is, it, um, is, it, is it possible for me to have one of those fangs? Yeah, you could definitely... They, there's. There's the tiny fangs and the small ones, and there's also the big guy, too. Don't so. poison yourself, okay? I'm gonna wear it on the necklace. I got it. Don't poison us, okay? Future weapon? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. No, I think, I think I cleaned it, wiped all the uh, drawn butter off of it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so the, uh, the goblin actually has a, uh, a blade that's made from some sort of large insect shell. Um, Can I so take it? Yeah, I, yeah, you can. <laughs> okay. uh, it's sure. going to be about the same as, as a dagger. It's not even as large as That's a short fine. bow. That's fine. I have nothing sh uh, short sword. That. I have um, nothing sharp. So it also has a short bow um, and some arrows. Mm. I have a crossbow I and bolts, so I am set on the ranged weapon. I think the two of you should take your split arrows. up the weapons. Yeah, you already I have, have a short bow, bow. but I, I don't have anything arrows. pointy. So. Well, it fired, it fired off some. Let's say it has uh, eight arrows, so if you want to mark that down okay. in addition to the ones that you already had, and then cool. um, Ada, you can add a short bow and maybe get Xyla to give you some of the uh, uh, arrows. So I was thinking, uh, we got Ada, we got Xyla, does it just need to be Berga? And then we got like... <laughs> 
That's your the, the traveling comma? the traveling comma? Oz. <laughs> um, no, this is a, this is a family name. We're prestigious. Uh, you have to say Bergamot. All right. Just be glad I'm not having you say my full name. Sure, Bergamot. Berga we don't want to know his middle name. Because every time you don't say my full name, then I'd have to feel compelled to remind you each and every time. Mm. All right. So I'm going to assume that you guys are going to uh, continue traveling. Yeah, how big is this yeah. forest? Um, it's it's huge. Uh, it's the the Kaelnor Forest is south of Fairyport, and um, it's the home of the Wood Elves uh, on one end, and it goes all the way from the coast to uh, well past like the city state of Fairyport, and then all the way down to the Vale. So, um, so is there a chance we're going to get lost? Um, are we following a path? Or are we just no, we following tracks? You guys are following we tracks. tracks. We followed the forest path, correct? From behind. Me. He had a little path that went in, but you guys saw tracks of something else, which you followed into the woods. Can I uh, look for more of those tracks? Sure. So just a um, let's yep. see, awareness. Yes. Six. And let's see, plus two, so eight. Eight. Luckily, uh, it's pretty easy to follow the tracks that this okay. giant spider just like dove through the mud uh, okay. and the okay, underbrush. Okay, so we're but gonna go fight. Gonna go try to find more spiders. Is that what's happening? No, no, no. You guys are trying to find what is stealing things from the farmers. Right. And but we, do we want to run into more of these spiders? I guess we might. I was to. looking more for the like the footprints, like the elf. Kind of footprints that we saw in the beginning. Um, it was oh, actually now that you've seen a goblin up close, you're pretty sure that the footprints that you saw, the small humanoid things, were actually goblin footprints. Which okay. um, farmer uh, was it? Farmer Vic. 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 Farmer Vic uh, called uh, uh, gremlins. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, I would like to point out too, like this creature is uh, none of you have seen a goblin before. Mm -hmm. uh, Zyla, you might know about them um uh, uh, ooh. elflings actually How big really are they in relation to me they're actually about the same size as you uh, and uh hey, goblins <laughs> goblins and uh elflings do not like each other um basically mm -hmm. if if you took a fey race and you <laughs> took them to uh the world and they each took a different path that would be goblins okay. versus elflings the elflings are are non-violent and i i mean uh, present company excluded. Uh, you did try to stab it all all the way through to its butt. Yeah. Well, um, a little gross. Self defense. But um, <laughs> would there maybe be any reason that uh, you might want to like uh, consider using his clothing as a disguise, since they would fit you? Uh, there's not much clothing there. Uh, oh. It's just some Dang. rags. Okay. Yeah. I already know I'm gonna need a hammock. If we're gonna sleep in this forest. I'm gonna need a hammock. Okay. Does anybody have a hammock? No. No, I have a bedroll. Cause you know, I'm real small, and if it's like a t-shirt or something, I could probably fit. Do you mm -hmm. think you could craft one real quick out of spider silk? No. She's afraid of spider. How is she gonna like milk the silk out of it? <laughs> mm. All right. So I assume you guys are gonna continue. Yeah, we're gonna continue into whatever somewhat of a path we can find. Um. I do have a question about the mana. Yes. Um, I know that I pretty much used it all up in our fight scene. Does it yes. reset by our next fight scene? No, it resets after eight hours of rest. Okay. Um, did we decide so, at the end um, of this last uh, fight with the spiders, did we decide whether we were resting after it? No, but I mean, I would probably say instead of like Traipsing straight down the path is finding a maybe defensible area that you could. Okay. Um. Can I uh detect magic or kind of do an awareness check to see if there's anything else around? Or... Um. Sure. Everyone roll awareness, and we'll just say that you guys are in general looking for a a place to to camp that's you know safe. Where did you get there? Defensible. I got four. Sixteen. Four plus two. Six. I got a 17 plus 4, so I'm at 21. 21. Alright, um, so Ada does not find anything. 
Uh, but she's a little worn out, from, worn all, out. from all the spell casting. You guys, um, wear me out. Uh, Bergamot finds uh, a, an actual, like, a little hillside with some roots coming over it that would make a good one-sided camp to where people couldn't approach you. Um, and uh, Zyla finds a nice thick tree limb that she thinks that she could fall asleep on. Yeah. I don't see anything crawling on it. So I think we're good. I do have a flint and steel if we feel like we need to make a fire. Um, what's the temperature? Is it cold out? Um, it was springtime. It's been a wet spring, so it's not cold. I say don't worry about it. Fire track stuff. Um, and, uh, just so you know, the way, uh, uh, regaining mana, it's not eight hours of sleep, it's eight hours of rest. So, okay. like, sitting around a campfire, eating your food, like, that's okay. all... Part of the resting. I think I've got some rations. We all have yeah. rations. Yeah. Remember, we were given a stack of them. Yeah. All right. So um, once camp is set, uh, it the forest quickly turns dark. Um, you guys have had some food. It's not been eight hours, so your mana hasn't reset. Um, all around you, you hear crickets, uh, the wind rustling uh, through the leaves. Even some strange insect that you guys have never heard before is just like up in the treetops, just clicking a cadence. In the trees? Huh? In the trees? Yes. She's afraid of insects. But Are you're you going to come branch. like hide down with us? But you're also in a forest. I mean, you can be afraid of insects, but if you're camping in the forest, know, there's going to be bugs everywhere. Um, but then, uh, blending in with that, you guys hear a soft murmuring. Um, it, so it sounds like a voice, but... It's something none of you uh, understand. Um, and so everyone roll an awareness check for me. Ha-ha! 20. Natural 20 plus 4. But I have a minus 1. So 21! <laughs> Alright, uh, so you guys all roll extremely well. Uh, and see, let me good pull job, this up guys. and show that you guys. That pretty good. Shh. My new die is paying off already. Shh. Don't do it. So, um, out of the woods walk three Whoa. tall, uh, what you can only imagine are elves. Wow. Um, they're wearing... Uh, My other cousins. Check them out. <laughs> uh, they're wearing Ooh. leather and wood armor uh, and masks Man. that hide their faces. Scary. Um, the That's one in cool. front uh, has uh, his both of his hands up, showing that he's carrying no weapons. Okay. Adabas, friends, we offer you no harm. We saw your camp and evidence of your battle from earlier. We wish only to sit for a while and talk. Okay. I'd like to offer Welcome him some in. food. Yeah. He's got mm -hmm. smoked meats. I've got some I rations. Say, Hello! From the treetops. <laughs> Are you just going to stay up there? I, I guess I'm going to come down <laughs> and say, Hello! Come down from come the, the tree! <laughs> we got friends! So, uh, the leader introduces himself as Lorivar and his companions are Silvana and Daisha. Mm. Um, the, he is the only one that can speak uh, okay. common. I, I assume none of you can speak Elven. No, not me. Nope. Um, so, uh, Lorivar, who has a, uh, a deep, very comforting voice, even if he has a thick accent when he's speaking common, uh, offers to uh, light a fire and uh, to to share some some bread with you. Okay. Excellent. I I certainly accept. Um, and of course, because they uh, you assume they are uh, wood elves, uh, they also have some honey wine that they're willing to share yeah. as well. Have I yes. would love some honey wine. Yes, I will drink to that. So once, uh, once the food has been set out, um, they have a uh, very, uh, how do I describe it? It's a very light bread uh, that you're eating. Uh, there's no meats. It's all vegetables <laughs> and, and raw. Everything is, is raw. Nothing is cooked. Okay. Um, they keep the fire small, just enough to illuminate the, the forest. Um, Lorivar tells you that there's nothing to worry about, that they've scouted the area and there's no other goblins or spiders anywhere nearby. Uh, in fact, they were scouting when uh, they ran across the scene of your battle and tracked you guys down. Okay. 
I would love to just ask him or, you know, rec or pick at his mind about, you know, we've heard that farmers are having s stuff stolen from them. Um, have you heard of anything of this nature? Yes, yes. There's been quite an incursion of goblins uh, to the east. Okay. Or actually, sorry, I'm not familiar with your language from the west. Got it. The, the western side of the forest is much different than our side. Okay. Uh, there is a curse to that area, a, a bane that seems to grow, and the goblins are gaining power from it, and they seem to be multiplying and you know, becoming you know, uh, ever more invasive. Mm -hmm. What is your uh, reason for being here? What are your, you guys accomplishing in the forest? That is a good question. Mm -hmm. Well, we we are out scouting from Kaelnor, our homeland, to the uh, east in the forest, and we are scouts. We are here to eliminate the threats that you beat us to eliminating. Okay. But we we do not go too far west into the woods. Um, it's too much for us. Would you go if you had more in your company? We have been debating sending a larger force into the west but at the moment we are uh, happy with just guarding our own borders and keeping to ourselves we try our best to help the humans who farm along the forest lands but they see us the same as the goblins and often try to harm us mm. so we must do it in secret okay. mm. how long have you guys been out uh doing your, your searches and, and and just sort of keeping an eye on all this? Well, time is a little bit different for us, as I'm sure you would understand. And so we'll take a quick uh, out-of-game moment, uh, as my other group does when you're doing out-of-game moment, <laughs> out-of-character. Um, so. Uh, there's a thing that happened in Athlees, which was the disappearance, where the elves disappeared, magic disappeared, and mm -hmm. uh, any sort of creature that had magic as part of it disappeared mm -hmm. for hundreds and hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. um, elflings did not disappear, but like Ada, you would not have any of your spells if you'd been born 30 years earlier. And as a fawn, Bergamot, you would have, from the east, you would have gone through the same thing. You would have, what happened is the, the Fae sort of became out of sync with the whole world. And so they, the elves were in the world, but they were separate from it, almost like being a ghost in the world, except everything that they saw was moving faster in the world. So while 700 years went through in Athlees since the elves were there, only 300 years happened for the elves and for the fawn. Now, since fawns have a shorter lifespan, you guys got used to living in this, like, fey realm. And I, I uh, in the fiction, we call it the between because it's not one of the other universes and it's not, like, one of the other planes of existence and it's not athletes. It's just somewhere in between the two. Okay. Um, and... and uh, some places are closer to the Nevirum, which is the, the other plane where the demons come from. Other places are not. So in in the west here, in the Westlands, the Wood Elves, um, they were much closer to Athletes. Uh, and we haven't really gone into that history of Bergamot and his family uh, and where they're from. And so wherever exactly he's from in the world would sort of determine how they live during the disappearance. Um, so, so to these elves, they could very well have been, I mean, they most likely were alive when they were not part of this world. So they would have always been hunting these goblins yeah. for hundreds of years, yeah. but it's even more hundreds of years in athletes. So um, th that's just an outer character to sort of set the tone to where you know this, like when you speak of time to elves and, and the fae, it's all, you know, it's like the mythological thing yeah. where time has moved differently for them. Okay. So, why are goblins so terrible right now? What have they 
I mean, why have they been hunted all these years? Um, why why do they why go do people strength? hate them so much? Well, it's they they follow a dark path. They get their magic through blood and death. They uh, they do not create. They don't make. They steal and they harm, and they they delight in violence. So there are no good goblins anywhere. Uh, I am not saying that, uh, but I do know that whatever the artifact is that is in the western part of this forest, that even our elders don't speak of, it it has a way of corrupting things. So if there was there is something, there's something at the root of the Western Forest that has caused it to become evil. And you, no one has ever tried to find it? To stop it? Or? We, it would be, it would be like trying to find a source of water coming from underground and stop it from coming. Mm -hmm. It just keeps coming. Okay. Well, it, that is why we watch our borders and we don't let it encroach on our land, but even that is hard for us to keep out. Okay. Is there a place um, on the border that you're having trouble with? Is there any way that we can help? Do you want to help? Yeah, I was thinking, like, is there a specific area where you seem to run into a troublesome amount of these gremlins? Well, this whole forest was once our home. In fact, there used to be two cities, two elven cities in this forest. And towers were built all along the edge of the forest. In fact, there's one probably three days journey to the west from here. Uh, that at least that's on our maps. If I was these goblins uh, raiding the local farms, that's probably where I would make my fortress. Okay. Well, if that's what's if that's the area that's attacking the farmland, and we're trying to save the farmland, let's uh, head to those towers. Yeah. That's definitely the best lead we've got. Yep. All right, so um, you guys continue to talk, and uh, the the food is uh, like imagine if you could have the tastiest food but never get full, mm. you know, mm -hmm. and you keep drinking the wine, and it, you get the perfect buzz that never goes over and never diminishes. Um, no wonder they live forever. So, I would like to offer them some of my rations. <laughs> Just to be nice. <laughs> okay. They will eat anything that, that doesn't have uh, meat. They don't eat any of the flesh of, okay. of another creature. They're so kind to um, bring all of this to us. Um, and so uh, it, it, it's a very relaxing night. Um, you, you guys, they, they, the two that don't speak common... Uh, soon start humming and uh, singing and uh, mm -hmm. basically you guys get very drowsy and when you wake up in the morning uh, the evidence no nothing that oh. <laughs> uh, it was peaceful okay. the, uh, uh, the, the fire is out and it looks as if there's never even a fire there okay. um, and there's a small package of uh, wrapped bread and berries and a large glass flask of honey wine left. Mm. I they, thought they were left. going to join us for a little bit, at least. Well, well they we spent the whole them. evening with us. Yeah. We might run um, into them again. I, th I feel like we will. Well, cool. Who wants to carry the rations for from those guys? We could probably. I've got a backpack. Yeah, I've yeah. got um, just a pouch. I'll carry the wine. <laughs> you carry it in your hand. <laughs> well, you put I, backpack, or I think backpack, I have a backpack. The... I don't. I I, I do. Have a pouch. Who's carrying what? All right. So. Um, and I have a backpack. The just some uh, gaming stuff for you guys to write down real quick. Um, Am I back the, to full mana then? Yes, you're back okay. to full mana, um, and uh, uh, everyone has gained a temporary three hit points after the night with the elves. Mm. Um, you don't know when that's going to wear off. Okay. But so plus to our normal hit points? Yeah. 
Okay. And I also didn't bring this up. Um, uh, Ada and Zyla, both of you guys got the pouch from Vic. Mm -hmm. um, you you currently have plus one to your strength. Oh. Um, okay. Hey. So bonus. Do I write that just in the bonus column? Um, yeah. So. Um, well, it, so it'd be if if your strength was your strength, Zyla. Ten. Ten. So it goes up to eleven. You still don't get any addition, any plus to it. Um, Ada, what is your strength? Eleven. Eleven. So you go up to twelve. So that means that you have a plus one now to your melee attacks. Okay. So change my strength to two. Don't, don't change it. Just put it off to the side like temporary bonus plus okay. uh, one. Plus one. So I'm twelve, which changes my. Your base, base attack, attack stays the same. No, base attack stays the same, but any melee attacks, you get a plus one to your your normal okay. and a plus one to damage. Okay. Um, where would, do I write that? Sometimes? Just I'll just write a note off to the side, because this is a temporary thing that will fade probably in a couple of days. Okay. Um, is there any way to learn more about um, either of those two things that just happened, like for is there a way for either of them to learn what made those levels go up, or for all three of us to learn why uh, our uh, HP went up? Um, Is there a check or anything we could do well, on that? Well, Ada actually had already done a detect magic mm -hmm. and knew that the pouches were magical. Mm -hmm. We just didn't bring up the plus one to strength. Uh, I didn't bring that up earlier. Okay. Um, and then uh, uh, the, the hit points are just a... Uh, a benefit of being extremely well rested from the yeah. uh the elven uh yeah. and, and and so you guys if if ada doesn't even have to roll as a knowledge check if she had to guess as long as you guys are eating their food and drinking their wine these bonuses might stick around you guys yeah probably have like you know four days worth of their mm -hmm. food and, and drink depending on how much of the wine you want to drink okay well, fortunately, we have regular rations for 30 days, so we can save the uh, elven rations for an emergency, perhaps. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Another shot already? Already. <laughs> we'll just pass it down. So, okay. <laughs> I, can, I can get everyone. Yeah, All right. For Mike. To uh, good honey wine. Yep, yeah. to the honey wine. Good, good wine. This is not close your eyes and go with it. I wonder, like, should we have, like, a featured drink each night? Like, one night we just drink mead and then another night we drink this? We talked about that, about uh, how you play in Ohio where you guys have your, your fancy named drinks that you made. Yeah. You need to come up with, I need to come up with one that represents where, you know, what a fawn, yeah, like what my family would drink. Something citrusy? But I haven't come up with anything yet. Yeah, it would probably be citrusy. So um, we're gonna just say that you guys uh, traveled uh, for a couple of days uh, following the tracks westward. Um, and uh, as you make your way through the twisted underbrush of the forest, you look up to see a vine-covered tower atop a small hill. Its walls were probably once white, but now they're stained and some places are crumbling. Encircling the top of the tower are menacing tooth-like spiders. A pathway leads up to closed wooden doors, and from the footprints that crisscross in the mud, it appears that goblins have taken up residence here. Alright, so I just moved you guys over to... Are they goblins or gremlins? Um, whatever you want to call them. Goblins. There. Come Gobl on, guys. All right. So, um, as you can see on the map there, um, it uh, here I'll give you another handout. Um, that's what it looks okay. like. Okay. Uh, so, okay. as you can see by the moon, uh, the moons, you guys are approaching towards the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and there is definitely light coming out from the tower. Nobody has any like traps or anything, right? Anybody? Yeah, we should check for traps. I want to check for traps as we're walking up. Cause who knows? All right. Uh, roll a. Uh, you'll roll a thievery check for that. Uh, 
Um, that would be a nine. Well, that's a Okay. All right, so you guys can control your tokens on the, the board as you approach. Uh, Xyla, you do not see any traps as you approach. Um, there are some trees uh, along the way. Where do we go? And you can also select them all by just like lassoing them. Where are we? Um, remember, right click to move around the map. We're up left. Um, the forest here is pretty thick. And uh, actually, everyone give me an awareness check before you move in closer. Ah, I was going to ask okay. if I could do a uh, bardic knowledge check. 16. 16. Fifteen plus two, fifteen. Okay. Uh, Twenty. Twenty. Nicely done. Um, uh, you guys don't. You guys are pretty sure that there's nothing out and about. And go ahead and roll. Uh, what do you? What's the knowledge that you want to know? Um, I'm looking to see um, uh, whether I'm recognizing any like anything that stands out like. Um, like I guess things like traps. I don't know um, if if the bardic knowledge would. Bardic knowledge would help. Not like for example, roll roll a bardic knowledge check, and I'll give you an example of, of what you would know. Eighteen. So bardic knowledge would not. It's like knowing history or knowing knowledge. It wouldn't be finding anything. Like for example, you would know that goblins are active at night mainly. Um, you know, it's odd that the one attacked you during the day. Um, so that would mean that even it, it, now that it's like dusk and that the moons are coming out, they're probably like just starting to wake up and get going. Uh, if if that's who is in this tower, so would like, that help me yeah. understand who built the tower? Maybe. Um, I'd say with that check, you. Well, you, we know it was the elves, elves towers. You'd originally. have a pretty good guess that it was oh, that yeah, this is the elves tower. Yeah, so this is one of the many towers that was built along the mm -hmm. border. Um, okay. Do we see anybody gar out at guard, or there's nobody surrounding? No, the you guys. Okay. The doors are closed, and there's light coming from inside, like you know, lighter than the forest around you. Okay. But not um, locked. So which, you guys haven't even gone up. Which to the one of building. you guys have nimble fingers? Well, I mean, I am Zyla Zebedobler Swift Digit. Okay. The third. Um, if you want to try to open this door, of course. I might be able to um, use days or or yeah, days or wild magic to like, you know, stun whatever if you want to do the surprise attack or we can just, I mean, we're not going to knock on the door. Okay, so, so are we go we're going up to the door, uh -huh. and I w I'm going to check for traps at the door. Where do I... Yeah, I'll just move them down, Anna. Did you... If we really yeah, want yeah. to... Yeah, so roll, roll for a trap check. We could get really exciting with this. Did you say that was thievery earlier? Checking for traps? Yes. Because you have a higher thievery than awareness, right? No. Oh, yes. I was yes. at the door. Okay, yeah. I was way off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, as a it, uh, other people, for... other people can only use awareness. Uh, can use awareness for checking for traps. Only thieves can use thievery or awareness. Okay, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Nicely done. Um, is that with your bonuses? Yeah. No, uh, she rolled a twenty-one on the D twenty, Mike. <laughs> You're right. Uh, I don't know. I figure maybe she had a tiny D30 or something. You know, and she couldn't. Uh, there are no traps on the door. Alright. So. Before you knock I'm on gonna that door. Move, I'm, oh, I'm have, not going to knock on the door. Are you crazy? I'm going to have my quarterstaff ready and I'm going to just be right. ready to either cast a spell or use my quarterstaff. I'm going to like barely oh, open the door awesome. if it's unlocked. All right. I'm going to yeah. barely open it and I've got my tiny mirror that I'm going to like put the mirror in there and kind of like right. see if I can see anything. As you slowly open the door, you notice a tripwire on the inside. Uh, and it goes over to a old metal bell. It looks... Has from, it rung yet? No. I was trying to say before we open this door, that's what I meant by before we knock or anything. Well... Uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna try to disable it. Right? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to say we could always use some rope and my grappling hook and try and go in a window and get an element of surprise. It would, we'd have to do it one at a time, but we would not be going in the conventional I, way. Well, we wouldn't have any source of exit that way. The only exit would be back down through the hordes. Well, since I noticed the tripwire, mm -hmm. can I try to disable the trap? Mm -hmm. So I want to do that. Okay. And would that also be the parade? Yes. Okay. 22. 22. Right. Nice. Yep. Uh, you pull the wire and unhook it from the bell, and you'll be able to open the door unhindered now. Can you okay. keep the bell? Very um, much since you I are. I might make noise when we're walking around. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll get it on the way out. Stuff some of my hair. And... Since you're looking around, uh, you know, like looking at the windows and stuff. You also hear a creak, uh, like burbling down the back of the hill. Uh, I do want to keep that wire though. Okay, can I? I mean, you'd have to get inside to actually no. take it off. But just, just letting you know because Bergamot, you seem to be looking around for other things. Yeah. Um, How far away is this creek? Uh, if you zoom it's out on the map, you can see it. Uh, oh, wait, like just. Oh, that. Is it this thing no, right like here? Like, scroll the mouse wheel out. Oh, no, sorry, you have to hold alt. I'm sorry, scroll down. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hey, um, I... Oh, I noticed something. Um, it really appears like this creek uh, either leads in or out from this tower as though there might be a alternate entrance perhaps where the creek flows either under or through the bottom floor of this tower. Uh, I just wanted to point that out to you guys before we like commit to this. We might have other options for getting into this tower. Okay, that's a good thing to think about. But I think we should go in through the front door. <laughs> <laughs> I kind Because you know, I did disable the trap and all. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Ignore um, me. Hey, I'm just sitting here looking at the scenery. They'll never see us coming. I'm appreciating it. I'm, I'm taking pictures with my mind. <laughs> I mean, so, uh, if uh, you think that creek leads in, that sounds pretty good. I mean, I heard it, and now I see it, and now all I want to do is at least check it out okay. before we go in. Let's go. Let's go check the creek. Okay. Out. Let's go check. The I mean, creek. nobody's gonna be looking at the door because it's not gonna ring yeah. a bell. So, and I've already disabled the trap. So, so we're gonna go. Awesome. Down. And then, okay. if no one else wants to, I will try and do a, a check on this. On, on what I'm what I want to do an awareness check on is to see basically the interaction of the creek and the tower to see if there's any I mean that's anything kind of note. far away it's just um, right now right yeah. oh well we didn't see yeah. that until we got close yeah see that when, no when we were looking just a moment ago the tower yeah, was dark. shadow well, that was went sight. all the way to here that was line of vision though yeah well but that so maybe that answers it um, should I can I do a check to see if there's any connection between the creek and the tower. I mean, it looks like you guys could try to swim up the creek, but it would be, you guys would be belly down in the I creek. I'm like, I'm like it's not like a I'm cave not going be a in, human it's boat. like, I'm afraid of boats, remember? Bubbling up, boat. you know, like nope. you could, you, it, it would not be a walk, it would be spelunking, if you know what I mean, like. But at least, yeah. it at least answers my initial query which was the creek enters the tower is all I was really trying to figure out. Crazy. Or does it exit the tower? Okay, well So that could be like maybe a, like an emergency exit for us. So possibly. we now and we could also now that we know that there are windows and a creek, we could all if we went up we could always repel out of a window. If we went down we could always come out the creek. Yep. We okay. we now have figured out some options. I'm happy with that. That's okay. Go on to the front door. Okay, we're going to the front door. I have quarter staff ready, and um, you know, I guess I need my hand. Do I need my hands to? Um, Do we need to announce magic? that we have our weapons ready, or is that just sort no. of given? Be quiet. No, I'm asking for the way the game works. Not so. in the game, as in like <laughs> oh, us okay. Playing. No, I'm I have my, my, my sword, and I have my sword to come inside. Like, do we, I, is, I would like us. to say that is a fair question of them to ask Bergamot if he's like <laughs> announcing 
I am now. Let me tell you the history of the weapon I am pulling from the ship. That was what I was going to get into. <laughs> just gonna tell you right. the history. Of so um, I open up the door for you guys to see oh. into the room a little bit. But okay. do we do we um, need to announce those ooh, sorts of things? That? Like, or is it no, just assumed that we have no? Weapons? It is in um in D and D. You I have to take an action to pull out a weapon, or you can get a, a feat that makes you pull out a weapon quicker. We just say that you can, as a free yeah, action. Look at this. Pull, ready a weapon door. or drop it and pick up another one. Ooh. Do I need to say I'm that I'm doing that as a free action it? or is it yeah, just sort of... No, because as a free game. action, if something jumps out at you, mm. as a free action, you could already have it out. Okay, so right. it doesn't have to be that said. Well, be Thank you, that clarifies that for me. Mike, is that a hole into the floorboard? Um, yes, I okay. was going to... That might be another um, trap, right? Maybe. You tend to hide traps a little bit better than a giant hole in the middle. Um, so, I mean, it is like right in front of the door. So there, the, um, the the tower is split right in half okay. um, by a wall with a metal door. Oh, I should be able to see that. Um, uh, there is a uh, um, the the tower tower is falling into ruin. There's like barely any roof over top, so there is light coming in from mm -hmm. there, and there's light coming from the room beyond. Okay. Um, there's two. Uh, makeshift arrow slits that are actually coming through the wall where the light is coming through. Mm, right there. Um, let's see. Uh, on either side of the door are slim dark windows peering into the room beyond. Above the remnants, remnants of a staircase and upper floors have rotted away through years of disrepair. The stone floor has collapsed, its slick tiles tilting towards a large hole in the middle of the room. How about the skinniest of us? And the tiniest of us, uh, I'm check the floor. The are you calling me fat? I'm just calling her are there, small. Are there obvious, like, Don't be so light conscious. and shadow places inside of here, or is it all in the dark? Um, are they from the windows? I'm, t I'm like the moonlight and the windows. There's he moonlight said there was windows light coming may have tower. light coming in from okay. that. Mm. So, I mean, I, I want to stay in the shadows as much as possible. So, so right, maybe... If I'm gonna like kind of creep in the door, I want to immediately get to the shadows and creep along the shadows. All right. Um, all right. So first we'll do um, do a thievery check uh, to see how uh, silently you move. It's a heavy die. Ten. Um, so you start. <laughs> moving in and you look up and the two uh, arrow slits in the wall and you see dark heads come up and you see their little gleaming eyes and you see and I'm like big <laughs> smiles open up.